Hi folks, welcome. Welcome indeed. It is the 29th of November. Yes. Well, it's time for the dreaded handling. <laughs> I know you all love putting on handles, don't you? And you're all brilliant at it. Well, maybe you're not. So quickly what I'm going to do is I've got some tankards here. I've got some handles I already pulled earlier on. So they, they're dried off now to, to the stage where they're ready to go on the tankards. But I just thought I'd pull a few handles in front of you and just give you a few tips on how to do that because it's it is a, a place where a lot of people get very frustrated isn't it when they come to applying appendages onto pots whether it be handles knobs on lids lugs spouts all these kind of things where you're adding something onto the side of a another pot and people get into a lot of difficulty so I don't know if I'm going to be able to help you but I'm going to try okay so basically you want to take a slug of clay probably about two pounds you don't want it too heavy even two pounds is probably for some people's getting a bit heavy don't have it heavier than you than you because you've got to hold it up here while you're pulling it and it'll make your arm quite sore so I've already started to pull this down so this is a bit of a messy business, so have a sponge handy, okay? So you want to dip your clay at this stage. I mean, I've already pulled this down, but you want to start wetting it and pulling it down and it'll begin to look like that, okay? And then keep it dry at the top here where you hold it. Just want to hold on to that there like that. And now start to, an important thing is always, of course, have it really nicely lubricated. So I'm, I'm starting at the top, I'm pulling right off the end, okay? That's tip number one. Pull right off the end. Don't stop, don't stop there. Otherwise it'll just build up a bigger piece on the end. Okay, now I, I use the, here the, this, the rabbit here with the ears, the eye, the eye of the rabbit, okay, is the cross section of your handle, all right? Just think of it like that. And it wants to look like an, an eye. It's sort of elliptical shaped, you see? All right, so I'm pulling it down and I'm, I'm, I'm holding it like that and I'm, I'm turning it, pulling it once like that turning it, pulling it like that, okay? And then I, I can change your, you can change your grip a little bit, like this, not just like that, but like that, okay? And turning. If you really start doing it in earnest, you'll, you'll develop your own style of doing it, you see? Okay, so pull it down like that, and then you lay it across the board like that, your wear board. And now here's a tip. Make sure that your wear board is, is hanging over the side of your table by half an inch or something like that. Okay, because we're going to want to chop these off like I'm about to do now. To do that, I want to use the side of my thumb here, okay, not the front, the side. And I'm going to chop it off perpendicular with 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 to the length okay so like that okay are we in the picture are we in the yeah sort of seem to be okay so let's just bring this you see each time you each time you do a handle you want to pull down a bit more clay from from higher up here you want to then pull some of that down, you see? 
and you extend it down. You notice keeping it nicely wet. You must not let it get dry. You let it get dry at all. You know when you're throwing pots, what happens? What happens if the pot gets dry when you're in the middle of, of throwing a piece? Well, we know what happens, don't we? The pot bites the dust. Well, the same thing's going to happen with your handle. If you let it get dry when you're pulling it, it's just going to pull off in your hand. Now, here's a thought I've had. Make of it what you will. A lot of people, I notice, throw their pots with a sponge in their hand. They have one of these little mud, whatever they call them, mud. Got one here somewhere. Made by Mud Tools, I think it is. It's a little sponge and people use that to, they're sponge throwers. And I try to encourage people to give up sponge throwing because you're not developing the sensitivity of touch in your hand and fingers that enables you to discern the, the slipperiness of the clay, if you know what I mean. Because you don't need to because you've got a sponge in between. So you never really get to the sense of touch and feel in your fingers that you would have you don't you don't have you don't develop it properly because you have a sponge as a go-between and people perhaps who are sponge throwers might find handle pulling difficult because they haven't learned to to feel the slipperiness of the clay and and there and know then that they need to add some more water and they might end up end up pulling the, the handle off you see, every time I'm pulling down like this, my fi this, this clay, as it passes through my hand, it passes information, doesn't it? The degree of ease which it passes through, it, it sends information to my brain. Well, anyway, that's what I think. Make of it what you will, as I said. Okay, so, you see, I'm twisting it like that, turning it, okay? And then you want to lay it across in front of you like that and then chop that off. And that's why we want to have the wear board here overhanging the table because if you don't, okay, when you try and chop off, your finger's going to hit the table. So you need, you need that sort of sense of uh, follow through, let's say. This is the best way of, of handling. Uh, don't get into the habit of pulling handles and sort of, sort of pre-forming the curve and leaving them to stiffen off on your, on your table. That is, you really don't want to do that. I know a lot of some, some people do do that, but just learn how to do it like this and you never want to go back to doing it. Okay, so there's a few thoughts for you on, on pulling handles. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah. Yeah, people struggle a lot with handles because it is very, very touchy-feely, you see. And um, it's so easy just to pull the clay, separate it off in your hand. All right. Lay it across and cut him off, just like that. Okay, that's, put that to one side for now. Have a sponge handy, you know, you're gonna have to do a bit of, a bit of mopping up as you go. That's pretty normal. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, ideally you wanna pull your handles like this and you wanna leave them you know, half an hour, an hour, depending on the atmospheric conditions, before you attach them. 
Now, we may break this clip into two. I don't want to go too long. I don't want to lose you, you know, because, oh gosh, it's such a long clip, son. I know there's some of you there that think my clips are too long, and then others say they're fine, Simon, don't worry about it, just be yourself. <laughs> well, yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't planned on being anybody else, that's for sure. Um, so, as you can see, you saw me throwing these the other day. Okay, I've kept them under wraps, and I've thrown more over there. So, let's just uh, address these here. Let me just bring this back a touch. Let's just talk about these tankers. As soon as, when, you're, when you throw any pot, as soon, as soon as the top of the pot will allow it, okay, if it's hard enough, invert it. So you want to invert all your pieces, all right, on, the, on your wear board. Now, as they dry, you will observe certain things. One thing you'll observe is that the ones on the end of the board, on each end, dry faster than these that are in the middle. Okay? And I'm just looking at these and I'm thinking, yeah, hmm, these have, these have, despite me wrapping them, they have dried a touch. So what I'm going to do is, these particular these ones on the end, I've got one of these countertop, old countertop spray, you know, bottles, please. So save, save those. when you, instead of throwing them away, recycle them. So these ones that are a little bit, just a touch drier than the rest. So I'm just gonna do that. You wanna be particularly careful, you know, it's at the top of the pot here where you're going to attach the handle. You don't want it dry here because that's where cracking is really going to occur. If it's going to occur, occur there worse than down here. Okay, so, right, what we, what we generally do at this stage, what we generally do is we thumb them off. Now, if you have thrown your pot, let me see if I can just show you this. Uh, I think you can see here on the corner, there's a bevel, you see? because I'm all the time talking about put that, make that, make sure you put that bevel in, you see? That's that little angle that we see just there on the, on that, on the corner there, you see? You break the corner with it by, by beveling it, okay? Very important. Okay, you wanna make sure you do that. So, when it comes to this stage of the game, all you do, you just watch what I do, okay? You have a sponge here, a, a damp sponge, okay? And I'm, all I'm going to do is, I'm just, I'm literally going around like that and like that. I don't even, now if it's easier, pick them up. But basically, with a damp, with a damp thumb, you see, I, I, I run around these pots like this. And I can do that. Now, if they're rather close together, like I have these here, perhaps, a little closer, then, then it can be a bit tight. But just, just spread them out a little bit, you see, like that. You see how little work is, is needed to, to finish that off now. And that's because I took a little extra care when I threw them by making sure I put in that, 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 that bevel, you see. So it's a little bit of work earlier on, so it saves you a ton of work later. Okay. Oop. Careful there, my son. Yeah, just need a little bit of moisture on your on your thumbs. Let me just bring that down here. So yeah. Like that. 
Yeah, this one on the end I can feel is a little stiffer, a little harder. That's why you want to attack it now before they get too hard to do this job, you see. If you get let these get too hard, and imagine you hadn't you didn't have imagine there was no there, there was no bevel. Imagine there was no bevel here at all, no no undercut, you know, on the corner here and you let them get too hard, what would you do then? You'd have to put them all on the wheel, center them, and then you'd have to trim them, wouldn't you? What a pain that would be. My goodness me. That would be a pain and a half, wouldn't it? So, what we're going to need, and I'm going to stop this clip now, just to break it, just to break it, just to break it into two, um, is, what we're going to need, make sure we're going to need a banding wheel, okay? Because we're going to do these, we're going to do these, put these handles on, we're going to put them on a banding wheel, okay? And we'll talk about that in the next, in the next clip. Okay, folks. Thank you for thank you for joining us here on the 29th of November here in Milheim, Central Pennsylvania. Go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my videos, well don't bother. <laughs> and make sure you don't click the thumbs up button, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say that. Uh, um, no, of course you can subscribe if you want to, or click whatever buttons you want to. Um, if, and don't forget to ring that bell. <laughs> ring that bell. If you want notifications, if you want to be notified next time I put up a video, then click the bell. If you'd rather not be notified, then, then do it. I guess that's simple. So, yeah, I, we put some pots up on it on Etsy shop. There's a few more than what there usually is. There's usually a miserable amount up there. I don't know. I just find it like psychologically hard getting down to photograph everything and get it all up there. Well, you know, if you don't do it, I guess you don't sell it, do you? These days, uh, we sell some things locally. Uh, but mostly goes out, you know, mail order. I just need to get more stuff up there. That's the trouble. Well, thank you for joining us. Yes. Um, I'll see you in the very next clip following right on from this, attaching these handles. Okay? Keep practicing, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Dee, 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 dee.